fellow British Southern Cameroonians, fellow Amazonians. This is Capo Daniel. I hope my sound quality is okay. Mm, let me see. Yeah, I'm at work. I just uh, take this. Uh, what is this? My screen is just black. I don't actually know if people can hear me or I can see something now. So this is an, uh, an SOS. I want to put out this presentation for the Ambazonia people to know exactly what is happening in Bafut right now. And uh, I want it to be on the record so that people should know for a long time we have been, uh, we're not just that we have been suspicious, we have known that there have been information coming from La Republic to Cameroon and from third parties within the IG and even in Europe of a negotiation being facilitated by Swiss, the Swiss government with the IG. This negotiation was, uh, was started, as we know, after the State Department of America engaged the Swiss government to be a facilitator to dialogue. They had convinced certain key members of the IG that they have to dialogue for a three-state federation. And the only possibility for them to do so, it will be for the federalists, for people who are not, uh, who are not hardcore independents to, to be on that negotiation table. And as such, they have been trying to, to preserve the IG to be the sole negotiator on the table. That was why they are trying to destroy the other groups. This has been a long time coming, you know. And we have also seen the, the Swiss government engage in such contact with the IG. We know that for sure this is information coming from the IG and also coming from the ground, which have been confirmed by the people within the IG. There have been contact between the IG and the Republic to Cameroon government. There is nothing bad in negotiation. For Actually, there is nothing bad. But the thing that is bad is that this negotiation is being done in a, in a very wrong way. The IG wants to negotiate and they want to be the only people to negotiate because they want to control the outcome. And they have decided to destroy the other groups, including killing and, le and directing the Latin Republic to co commit acts against Ambazonia. Previously, we had seen Chris Anno sending out indications, what we call indications to target Seseko Ayuktabi when he was still in jail. We have seen him coming out and make, sto make up stories that Seseko is being attacked, they want to kill Seseko, they want to kill Seseko. Those are things that we consider as indications, giving indications to the enemy. So recently, as I speak to you now, the Republic of Cameroon Army are descending in Bafut. They are using artillery shells. They have used, we have spotted helicopters, helicopter gunship and their target is General Arke. And this information is coming from within the IG. We have seen this, in my experience in this struggle, we have seen this scenario play itself over and over again. The last time Chris Arno came out and released an alert asking everybody to leave Bafut, that Bafut is going to be attacked. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm not sure. I'm actually at work. I just come out from work to, to give out this short presentation. I'll do it for about 20 minutes and then I'll stop. Can somebody confirm to me if you can hear me? I will tell you exactly what is happening. What is happening on the ground? We have been trying our best. General Arike and his forces in the British Southern Cameroon's resistance forces, they have been doing only their job. The only thing they have been doing is to recruit new members because some of their members <laughs> they are still in certain area, I think about a Fundong area there they still have some of their members who have diverted and they are still under some influence of uh, the IG the, the, of the IG what General Araki have been doing since he left uh, he, he was rescued from detention have been focused on his job to regroup to train his fighters train new fighters on certain tactics 
they have been i have all the videos i have every single thing i've been doing they have been focused to build a special force they have also been crisscrossing ambazonia visiting other camps who whose fighters were trained by him or people that he has fought together with that is all they have been doing focusing on the enemy they had a chance to come against those people who, who brought him to justice but a decision was made by them not to do that to avoid every bloodshed to even forget about their guns and make peace so that is what has been happening so when Chris Arno sent out this message that everybody should leave by foot it was very very suspicious first of all I knew that it was a lie I came out told the people that it was a lie there was no attack in Bafut because we can we have intelligence from from the ground as well we know that it was just a lie this wasn't the first time they have lied to the Ambazonia people including when they talk about an attack in uh, in Lebiale so our soldiers of the British Southern Cameroon resistance army some of them who are in who are in Bafut have spotted those La Republic troops in areas they did not expect to see them and there is suspicion that has just been confirmed by an IG source. If you are within the IG, the ASC, you confirm this information. They are now having an argument because some of the, you know, the, the, the group, the seven uh, Qatar group have been a very friendly force with the forces of the British resistance uh, uh, forces. So what they are doing, they are trying to set up General Arike to be killed. They believe that General Arike is in Bafut. And they have now come to the people in the AMF. Anybody who is in the AMF would, would tell you what I'm telling you right now. They are currently having an argument because the IG's cabinet, which we know are infiltrated, are coming there to tell them lies. They have told them that General Arike have received money to compromise Bafut, to bring attack in Bafut. That is the lie they are telling the, uh, the, the seven Qatar forces and the people within the IG. Their intention is what they have been doing all along, to set up mistrust between the fighters so that they can arrest General Arike if La Republic to Cameroon fail to catch him or to kill him. But unfortunately for them, General Arike have taken measures beyond imagination from anybody to be able to protect themselves. But the fact that this faulty in, uh, intelligence from uh, Chris Arno has come to the limelight and has directed La Republic du Cameroon army into Bafut, into areas they have not visited before, with the numbers of troops that they have not visited with that areas before. It's a call for concern. Chris Anu needs to be interrogated. They need to arrest Chris Anu and interrogate him. Where did he get those faulty information from? Where the idea is coming from them that General Ariki have received money to compromise uh, Bafut? Where did they get all this information? Because this is lie. Anybody with his right mind will know that General Arike have been focused to liberate the country. He has been focused to train his troops. He has not been focused even to get back his gun. The ultimatum that he, he has released, the, the High Council has since withdrawn that uh, ultimatum, even though an announcement was not made. So this is very bad. This is very bad. We have seen generals and generals being killed on the ground. We have seen it many, many times ago. Many, many times it has played over, but we never saw it. We had known that the, the, the IG's cabinet have been involved somehow. We know for sure that they have been involved because we have seen them, John Igoan in particular, go down there to bribe the army. We know that they have a policy to destroy every other troops, in particularly the ADF. They have stated that clearly. There is no doubt that they want to destroy the other groups. They have given orders for, to neutralize them using the same word that Paul Bia is using. And now this attack in Bafut is just clear indication that Chris Anu is directing La Republic du Cameroon's action, giving them tactical information on where to attack and where not to attack. So God forbid that if anything happened to our troops who are around that area, our general is definitely uh, 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 not, not, not there, but our troops on the ground have spotted them. I want every Ambazonians to know that General Arike is a clean man. He is a soldier dedicated to the liberation of our struggle. The only people that we know that have been helping him to sustain him and give, provide him assistance to build his forces are common Ambazonians like the people in this chat group, the people who are 
who are currently watching me, the people who have been sending money to the official uh, accounts that were set up by him, by him and his group for them to... Who is this demon here? Let me take out this demon person. The only people who have been supporting General Ariki have been common people who are just trying to defend themselves. General Ariki is a hero. He's a dedicated person who is dedicated to fight for the liberation of our struggle. The seven Qatar have been a very friendly troops who understand the terrain and they understand who to trust and who not to trust. So if the IG is deliberately trying to poison the mind of the seven Qatar, to poison the mind of the ASC, and the mind of the people within the struggle about General Arike. It is because they see General Arike as a threat to their program of dialoguing with the Republic to Cameroon. There is no other reasons, there is just no other reasons that they will try to spoil the name of General Arike. They will try all the possible means to kill him. The only reason is because he is an effective fighter against the Republic. If General Arike was trying to fight against the forces of uh, of the ASC or the restoration forces of the IG, I can begin to even understand that the IG can, can legitimately try to target him. They can try to fight him. They can try to fight him back. But the fact that they are targeting him, irrespective of the fact that he is minding his own business, he is training his own guys, he is equipping his own guys, he is working with alliances with the other groups on the ground, forming coalition of the willing to join forces and point their weapons on one enemy and one enemy alone, like Republic to Cameroon. And the fact that he will be a target of the IG should have no doubt in the mind of anybody that the IG is working for La Republic to Cameroon. And the only reason we can expect them to do that is to facilitate dialogue and negotiations with La Republic to Cameroon. They want to be the only guys who call the shots. That is the only reason. The reason I have to put this out there is for the Amazonian people to know that General Arike is a clean man, he's a dedicated soldier. If anything happens to his soldiers in Bafut, the IG is solely responsible for the intelligence that has led to that attack. And Chris Anu have to come and tell the Ambazonia people or talk to the to the to independent people within the Ambazonia. Where did he get that intelligence that La Republic was about to attack uh, Bafut? And why did they follow up with that faulty, that lies, by going to the ASC and start to lie about General Arike? Why did they contact the seven Qatar to make up story about General Arike at the same moment when La Republic to Cameroon troops are coming there? Why did they do that? Who are they working for? This is not a child's play. This is not a game. Those people have blood, they have family, they have people who care for them, they have wives, they have children. They have sacrificed their life to rise up to fight and defend our territory. It is an honorable thing to do. The least thing you can do if you really disagree with somebody is to ignore the person and focus on your own lane. But if they decide to not focus on the enemy of La Republic to Cameroon, but focus on a soldier who is dedicated to fight and liberate his country, then we have to question them. We have to question them. And God forbid, any blood that is shed in Bafu today, Chris Anu have to answer and tell us where did this thing come from. Because we can make the dot, we can already see the, where the links come from. First, you come out with a, with a, with a lie that there was an attack in, a, in, in, in Bafu, which we can only call as an indication that you want the Republic. You are, you are indirectly telling the enemy where to focus. And you follow up by going to the seven Qatar and framing General Arike that he has received money to destabilize, destabilize uh, Bafut. Where have go back and judge the history of General Arike when he was in Boyo? How did he act in Boyo? Did he stabilize or did he destabilize Boyo? Did he work for the for the uh, the independence or he worked against the independence? For sure, he worked for the independence. He brought us pride. He is a pure nationalist fighting to liberate our country. His actions, his past actions have proven his, has proven his worth and has proven where his loyalty lies. The fact that when he was in charge in the whole of uh, Boyo, uh, 
Malcolm was the, the heartbeat of the struggle in the Northern Zone shows you that he is a true fighter for the liberation. Anybody who comes to you to tell you the contrary, to question General Arike's service to the nation, that person is not doing so for Ambazonia. That person is definitely not doing so for Ambazonia. He is definitely doing for La Republic. What I would advise the IG is, if you guys do not believe that we can win this fight, if you guys believe that we should cut our losses and negotiate with La Republic to Cameroon, the right way to do it is not start killing us. The right way to do it is not start minimizing those you think are going to oppose any negotiation or dialogue. The right thing is to do is to convince the rest of the people that you have a better solution. Do what Agobala is doing. Do what Agobala is doing. A noble thing. He has decided that he will not go along with the independence agenda actively. And he has decided to quit. He's functioning as an NGO, he's functioning alone. He will not come and inject himself in the struggle and ask people to go and die for something he does not believe in. And by the way, judging from history, even if you guys in the IG, you succeed and you get everybody else killed, you go and negotiate and dialogue and have any deal with the Republic of Cameroon, they will not respect you. Remember what Dongu Foncha did. He had a deal with them behind the door. And he came and he was pretending that everything was okay. They forced him to become a CPD member. At the end of the day, Paul Bia could not even talk to him. They just allowed him to live his life because they could not kill him. How many people did they kill in, in uh, the Basa? How many people did they kill in Southern Cameroon? Murder them. I mean, people that were murdered because they believed that they did not want the unity. If you go and you make any deal with La Republic to Cameroon, you think that you will cut the losses and people will stop dying and you are going to bring peace and we can live in a federation on an autonomy. How sure are you that La Republic is going to, to honor that treaty? You cannot make a treaty with somebody that you yourself you cannot, you cannot enforce. You cannot negotiate or dialogue at the point of weakness. It doesn't make sense. So if the reasons behind these actions of, like, of uh, the IG, which we have seen banning groups, asking army to neutralize other groups, asking people to kill other groups, asking people to attack even activists that does not support their cause, if they are doing so believing that they are trying to save life by making an early negotiation with the Republic of Cameroon, it will not work. It is dishonorable. You cannot come out and you are lying to people that you believe in something that you don't believe in. You can't do that. We have seen it over and over again. We have seen many of our soldiers being dead, being killed on the ground. We have seen them. Immediately these people took away Seseko. They came into power. This, is the, this has always been their agenda from day one. I have been saying it from January last year, 2018. From January I have been saying it. These guys have been focused on a civil war to destroy the pure nationalists, to isolate them and remove them away from the equation so that they can go and fight for their, their, their one Cameroon or whatsoever. It started up like, a, like a, a, a conspiracy theory, but as the day goes by, we see it become a reality in their action, not only in their words, in their action. They have not made, their, their, made it a secret that they want to kill Ayabacho, they want to kill the, the, the forces on the ground who are standing with people like Ayabacho who are not going to budge, people who are not going to negotiate, people who are not going, who are willing to die to liberate Southern Cameroon. And now General Arke is their, their, their next target. So I'm sending out this alert to the Ambazonia people to know exactly what has happened. So that they will not say tomorrow, had I known. The troops that are going to Bafut, they are going there specifically to target RK. We know that for sure. The troops on the ground have spotted the, those, those uh, troops, their movement. They have been monitoring their movement. They have taken measures to keep themselves safe. Let us pray for them that they will be safe and they will live to fight another day. And I want to tell the Ambazonian people that the, the fact that the IG, the cabinet of the IG have come to the seventh Qatar to lie about General Arike, to turn those troops against him, lying that he has received money to destabilize Bafut, should tell the Ambazonian people that they are behind this attack. Without a doubt. I don't have, I have zero doubt. General Arike have zero doubt. He spoke to me a while ago when he heard that his, his troops have encountered those people in battle and the, the troops of seven, uh, seven Qatar are, are patriot, they are a, a friendly force to the British Southern Cameroon resistant forces. They have been 
the General Ariki have been meeting with other forces around southern Cameroon. He has visited the southern zone. He has visited many camps of troops that he had trained, troops that are friendly to him. They have been working on something big on the ground to have a coalition from ground zero to up. That has been always their, their mission. So let Chris Anu come and tell us. Let everybody in the ASC come and tell us the debate they are having. I'm talk, as I'm talking to you, they are having that debate. They have been having that argument the whole of today. Because when the IG came there to lie to them, that General Ariki is in, has sent his troops to destabilize the Bafu, some of them who have been monitoring social media immediately know that it was a lie. Because everybody who knows General Ariki knows that he's a patriot. He's somebody who is willing to give his life. Every day he talks, when I talk to him, he just tells me, Kapo, I, if he kill me tomorrow, if he kill me tomorrow, but we must fight for liberate our country. We believe the fight, we believe this war. Say, be worthy for us to sacrifice. It be worthy for us to sacrifice. Those were his words. He spoke to me a couple of hours ago about, uh, about uh, maybe up to eight hours ago, he called me and he told me he has just received confirmation from his troops who are also located in Bafut, that they have actually have a visual of those troops of La Republic within Bafut in areas that they have not seen them there before. And after that call, I have received another call from one of the members of the IG who is within the ASC, who have told me that they have received information from the IG's cabinet that General Arike has received money to compromise and destabilize Bafut which is a complete lie. They have been resisting it and telling the IG that that is not possible. That is not the general RK they know. And I want to let everybody know that that is a lie itself. That is how IG starts to kill soldiers. First of all, they come and they make stories about you. They lie about you. They say that you are fighting for La Republic. You are a black leg after they kill you. They send La Republic to Cameroon to kill you. If La Republic to Cameroon does not kill you, they, they, they set you up with other forces on the ground and lie about your name so that they should kill you. They have made Ayabacho, they have made General, the ADF, they have made many forces who are fighting for our independence to be enemy on the ground, asking them to neutralize them. If they are still alive, it's because those people in the ground, their eyes have opened and they can see the truth. So I'm currently at work. As you can see, I'm at, at work. I'm not, uh, I have to just come out to give this information because there is a fight going on right now in, uh, in Bafut against the self-defense forces and the forces of La Republic to Cameroon. The self-defense forces are fighting side by side with the restoration forces. So you have two Amber Boys groups that are engaged in the fight. The self-defense forces and the restoration forces, they are fighting side by side. The forces of the British Southern Cameroon, resistance forces and the forces of the Southern Qatar, they are all fighting side by side. They are allied, they are brothers, fighting for the same country. Nobody in the diaspora should come with poison. Nobody in the diaspora should come with poison. All of our interaction in this platform have been to encourage our people on the ground to work together. Never ever have I, Capo Daniel, asked or instruct directly or indirectly that any force on the ground should attack another force on the ground. Never. I have never done that. Including the forces of the IG. Every time I talk to the people that I talk to on the ground, the people who listen to me as an activist, my advice to them is always avoid amber to amber conflict. Don't even involve the diaspora because I know that the diaspora is the source of all the confusion. When you have problems, solve it in ground zero. And those who are in the diaspora, we in the diaspora will be fighting with them in the diaspora to protect you guys. But what you guys should never do is to try to fight against each other. But anybody in the diaspora who is going to tell another army to go and kill another army, to lie that somebody is a black leg on ground zero, it has real consequences. So the cabinet of Sako should stop this nonsense. They should stop this nonsense. They should explain to the Ambazonia people why they are saying that General Arike is working for the Republic. Why they are saying that Ayabacho is working for the Republic. Why they were saying that General Ivo was working for the Republic. Why they were saying that Opupo was working for the Republic. Why they were accusing me of working. They accused even me. For goodness sake. It is so sickening because these people have hold captive a large portion of our population, in particularly the diaspora. They are drinking the Kool-Aid. They are drinking the Kool-Aid. And these same people are fighting against us. 
they are not fighting against the Republic, they are fighting against us. They come and collect money because they want to suck up money from going to specific actions on the ground that can actually liberate us. Because if you are really fighting for Amazonia, you will not be fighting against other people. We saw it happen in, uh, not even in, in, in Lebialem, the biggest scam I have ever seen, well, I mean scams that I, me and Kapo Daniel have seen on social media, on uh, videos, because this group, they send us videos to prove to us that they are existing so that when we talk about them, we are not lying. The biggest scam that I have ever seen of, uh, in ADF was in Lebialem. It was a wonderful camp. There were people who were training there, very good camp. These guys, they came there and they kicked everybody out. They tell them in particularly, you know, in those areas, most of the people in those areas are actually people from the northern zone. They start kicking them out using the all type of excuses, including going back to to tell people to go back to your village, using the same tactics that like, the CPDM people have been using on us. Anyway, that is a message I want to pass to you guys, that the attack in Bafut is likely coming from intelligence or indications given by Chris Anu when he came back and told the people that La Republic is Cap Cameroon are going to attack Bafu. Those were probably indications coming from Chris Anu because from the people in Bamenda, the camps in Bamenda, we actually monitor the camps in Bamenda. When we see movement, we know. There was no indication that there was any meeting. Chris Anu, we have people right even in the, in the Procuro General in Bamenda, we have people there. In the governor's office, we have people who are giving us information. In the army camp there, in those places, all those places there, we have people who are giving us information. I want to tell the Ambazonia people that I swear there was no meeting in, La, in, a, in a, the northern zone by the governor and his, his, his people. There was no meeting. When Chris Arno made that video, that there, was a, there had been a meeting in, in Bamenda and they are planning to attack Bafu, that was a lie. I can tell the Ambazonia people that there was no meeting because we have people who are in those offices who are giving us information. When all this fight will finish, everybody will come on the table and we are going to give the names of the people who are giving us information. We are going to give the name of people who are consulting. Maybe we can even do that in a secure way so that nobody can be compromised. So we know that Chris Anu was lying and I take that his video to be a direction, an indirect indication of the Republic where to go and target. Because once our their, their enemies now has been the enemies of those who want pure independence. That is how I see it. And the fact that they will follow up to go to the seven Qatar to make up stories and lie against General Arike, tarnish General Arike's image, telling them that he has he is working for the Republic to destabilize uh, uh, Bafut, actually trying to lie that General Arike is the one who is bringing the Republic troops there. Can you imagine? We have seen this over and over again. There was many times a lie that the ADF troops call La Republic du Cameroon troops. That is what they have been doing. Can you imagine that they say ADF call Cameroon, La Republic troops? Who does not know ADF people? Who does not know these people? These are people, especially the Sokadev, these are people die hard Southern Cameroonians. And they will be lying like this. At some point, somebody needs to interrogate Chris Anu. Somebody needs to interrogate him. And we know that he does not speak for himself. He has said it clearly. He does not speak for himself. He's the one who actually is talking on behalf of what is happening within the cabinet. The cabinet within the cabinet. He's the one who speaks for them. So if anything happened to any seven Qatar fighters, anything happened to any British Southern Cameroon Resistance Army who are currently in Bafut, the general prob we had the general had been expecting this day, so he knows what to do. They don't know what to do. They know they are well trained. They are, the, they are the masters of those terrain. So let's pray for their safety. But let it be known that if anything happens to our general, Chris Anu, and those who are within the ASC, anybody who comes there to tell you that this person is working for La Republic, that person has to come and tell the Ambazonia people, where does he have that conclusion? How did he come to that conclusion? Because we have seen General Arike. All what he did was to give us pride. All what he did was to work for the struggle. In Boyo, General Arike was working for the struggle. We, everybody can see it. It's clear. So anybody who is coming to fight against General Arike, anybody who is coming to see General Arike is working for the Republic, we need to arrest that person. We need to arrest him. Let him come and tell us where, where is that evidence and where is that information coming from. We are tired of this nonsense.
They did the same thing to General Ivo. Where is General Ivo today? They came and they were saying General Ivo has taken money from. Uh, he was, they even came and said that he was staying in the farm of Muke, from Mukete. And the people in the in the ASC they just accepted everything that they were saying. They just accepted it. And what happened? We have lost General Ariki. We have lost. Uh, sorry, we have lost General Ivo. The same people were now doing pretending like they were crying. So this should not happen again we have learned we can never ever trust them Chris Arno we can never trust him and all the cabinet of Sako we cannot trust them we cannot trust them not based on any uh, conspiracy theory based on their action I mean based on their action we cannot trust them anymore so thank you keep our soldiers in your prayer they are equipped to defend themselves they are equipped to maneuver that terrain. This is Ambazonia. It is our land. And they know what they have signed up for. We pray that they will not die on battle. They will live to fight another day. They are taking actions right now as we speak to be safe and to keep the population safe. God bless you.